Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about using comments in PHP. A comment is basically just a line of code inside of our PHP file, which isn't going to get rendered by PHP. So generally, when we're writing um, lines of code inside of our PHP files, like they're instructions that are meant for the computer to carry out. So I can have an instruction down here like echo, and that's meant for the computer, right? I'm telling the computer, I'm telling PHP, to do something. But a lot of times in our programs, there's going to be situations where we want to write out little notes or little reminders for ourselves or for other developers. And to do that, we can use something called a comment. So a comment is basically any text inside of our PHP file that's not meant for the computer. It's meant for us humans. And we can create a comment pretty simply. All you have to do is just type two forward slashes just like this. And I can come over here and I'm typing a comment. And you'll notice just in my text editor that this comment is actually colored a little bit different than um, some of the code that's down here. And that's really because this is now a comment. So the text that I put after these two forward slashes is no longer an instruction that's meant for the computer. Now it's basically just plain text that I, as the developer or the programmer, can use and sort of look at. So you can use comments to leave little notes. You could leave like a little to-do stub here. Um, you could also do other stuff. So a lot of times people will use comments to like describe a line of code. So I could describe this line of code down here. I could say like, this line prints out a string, right? So I'm basically like describing what it's doing. Um, you can also use these comments after a line of code. So after here, I could say like two forward slashes, and now I'm typing a comment once again. So anything that comes after these two forward slashes is gonna be considered a comment. Um, the thing is though, these are only gonna work on a single line. So if I was to come down here and start typing, you'll see now this is in no longer considered a comment. So only the stuff that's on the same line as these two forward slashes is gonna be a comment. In a lot of situations, you're gonna wanna have comments that span multiple lines. So one thing you can do is just have multiple lines with forward slashes on them. So I could do something like that, and you can see I'm printing on multiple lines. Another thing you can do though is use starting and ending comment tags. And these are what we would call comment blocks. It's basically just gonna be a block where you can put uh, you know, as many comments and as many lines of comments as you want. To make a comment block, you can just type a forward slash, an asterisk, and now you'll see after I typed this in, everything down here changed color. Everything basically became a comment. That is until I make another asterisk and another forward slash. And so now only things that are in between this starting and this ending tag are gonna be considered comments. But you can see like I can write on as many multiple lines as I want. Like this is now this whole thing in between these comment blocks is going to be considered a comment. So that's kind of the basics of working with comments. And really a comment is extremely open-ended. I mean, it's just anything that's not gonna get rendered by the computer. So any text that you wanna put in there, any notes, any, you know, you can write logs in there. I mean, you can do whatever you want with a comment. It is completely open-ended. Um, but I do wanna show you guys one thing that a lot of developers will use comments for. Um, and it's actually to do what's called commenting out a line of code. So a lot of times when you're writing your PHP programs, you might have a line of code which you think is kind of causing trouble. So maybe you have a line and you think that line is breaking your program or something. So a lot of times you're gonna to wanna to try to test your programs without those specific lines of code. And let's say that like this line of code down here, like I think maybe it's causing problems in my program. Well, one thing I could do is I could just delete it and then I could come over here and run my program and that line is no longer getting executed, right? Um, but here's the problem with that is I have to actually like physically delete the line of code. Another thing you can do instead of having to delete the line of code is just comment this out. So I could actually just put a comment in front of this and now this whole thing is a comment. And so instead of having to delete the line of code, we're gonna get the same result where this line of code doesn't get executed but without having to delete it. So this line of code is no longer gonna get rendered by uh, PHP because it's technically a comment, but I don't have to actually physically delete it from the file. So that's what we would call commenting out a line of code. And that can be really useful. But like I said, I mean, comments are very open-ended. I mean, you, you can do whatever you want with a comment and you can really just use them to help yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.